Hey guys, it's your Ford Mustang here, and today I have a question to make from the last episode of Ultimate Driving Leaks. You guys know when I said south of the border, if you have watched that episode, if you haven't, there's a portion of the video that I have in the timeline where you watch the video linked in the description. You probably haven't watched if you're new to the channel, but if you've been a previous subscriber and watched this before, then you know I'm about to make a correction of what needs to be done here. So, you guys know when Marcus said south of the border, I switched on to Google Maps, and I was talking about how Jonesboro might border Fatana Dam, and then even after I made the video, I was thinking that. Now what if it will also border Fort Loudon, which and very few people know what that game is and I'll get to the point of what it is later on in this video. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and tell everyone what needs to be corrected over here. So Marcus was actually referring to south of the border as to indexes and Marcus's games being located in the southern U.S., away from 22 Pirates' games in the north. And Marcus also mentioned Jake's game in the picture that you see over here. And he also mentioned that Jake's game was being part of the north, just like 22 Pirates' game is. Although Jake quit last year, despite being mentioned. Probably the focus on college. We don't know what will happen with him when Jake graduates from college, but for now, he's focusing on his college studies to get everything done there. Maybe he'll take UD developer position again when he graduates. We don't know. The answer to that is uncertain, but going back to the discussion about the whole thing with south of the border there are some real lights in Georgia that are used in Jonesboro but the location is completely fictional in Marcus's upcoming game in other words there is no need to compare real life routes to fictional ones in the game even if the same routes are used they'll always be fictional in location even if the location in the game is very relatable to what you see in real life, the route numbers will always be fictional. And there is no need to overthink things and make it more complicated than it really is. And you know, you see over like in the discussion that Marcus was basically telling MacArt, who I was in discussion with, to stop making things so complicated by comparing real life routes to fictional ones. And I was trying to compare real life routes such as Georgia Route 19 and US 74 in Northern Georgia just like how I sewed on Google Maps. And well, Marcus pointed out that the game's based in Jonesboro, which is south of Atlanta. When he says to not overcomplicate things by comparing real life routes to fictional ones, and it's even hurting his brain by doing that. And I can definitely understand where he's coming from. Because if you make it more complicated than it really is, it does hurt your brain there. And, you know, I was making an assumption, and I sort of uh, DM'd him for message before putting the information out there. But I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the video. You notice that me and MacArt had a discussion about it in his Discord server. And we were trying to, you know, put our opinions of what Marcus means by south of the border, even though after I put the information out, I was bored and I wasn't at home, but I decided to bring it up in his Discord server. And the discussion goes by, and 
as we scroll down, you notice that after our discussion over there with me and MacArt's thoughts about Fatana Dam and Fort Loudon being, you know, bordered to Jonesboro, thinking that it would be very comparable to what is in real life even though Jonesboro is south of Atlanta. We kind of thought that the map Marcus was making was based on in northern Georgia, you know, how I showed you in Fannin County. Well, that's not the case. You know, after our discussion, Marcus said in his discourse that we were overthinking it. The south of the border is referring to Index and Marcus's games being away from TTPs and Jake's games. So right there, as I mentioned earlier in the video, you notice that the games were completely away, like in different regions of the United States. As if 22 Pirates' games were in Delaware, which it is, and then we know with Jake's game being in Connecticut by Massachusetts. Well, it was there until Jake scrapped it, but he says considering our games reside in the south, every week you've seen has had a Georgia route in it, which is true. Like, yeah, you see a couple US routes, but most of them had Georgia routes, and Marcus was intentionally making the routes fictional in his game. Then MacArt continues his discussion. And, you know, he says that Georgia Route 19 connects the US 74 over the GA plus NC state line, so Georgia and North Carolina. And actually, I'm going to go back to Google Maps as the video goes on. The Georgia Route 19 that MacArthur was referring to is actually a US route. But yeah, we're going to take a further look at that. And when MacArt brings that point, afterwards, Marcus responds to that comment that MacArt made about the comparison of real life routes to fictional ones. And he said, quit trying to compare real life routes to fictional routes. You're going to hurt your brain trying to compare it all. The point that Marcus is trying to make here is that there is no need to compare real life routes to fix no routes that he is using in the game. and just going to hurt our brains by trying to compare it all. Even 22 Pilots himself has always intended to make the routes fix no in his game based on real life locations. For example, I-76 goes through Delaware which borders New York in ultimate driving. But in real life, I-76 does even touch Delaware and New York. It goes through Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. And then, it's just like how Jonesboro is south of Atlanta in real life. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Google Maps to show you what I mean with what Marcus is doing to Jonesboro by using fictional routes. And I know you know you see a couple of dashes in the chat here, but I use those, press the dash key to help me pause the video. So if you're wondering, that's why you see it down there, but without first said, let's go to Google Maps. So as I said a couple of times, Jonesboro is located south of Atlanta. But you notice in the area around, the routes that Marcus is using his game, it's nothing like the real life ones. All the routes that Marcus is using in his game are completely fictional. You see the Georgia Route 54, US 41, Georgia Route 138. None of those is used in the upcoming Jonesboro map. And if we go back to where I was pointing out in Fannin County, Georgia, in the previous Ultimate Driving Weeks episode, or even just around Northern Georgia in general, you see that there is a US-19 that MacArt was trying to point out, which connects to US-74, but it's not Georgia Route 19, as of MacArt was stating. Georgia Route 19 is completely fictional. And it's easy to make an assumption that 
You know, Jonesboro might border Fratana Dam and Fort Loudon because the routes that Marcus is using, yes, it's fixed to know, but the routes that Index is using in his games are reflecting to what it is in real life. And you see US 74 in Index's games, it's reflecting to the location it is in real life. That's how most of Index's games are made. Like if we go over into North Carolina and Tennessee where Fatana Dam is, if you know where Fatana Dam is now with the autumn scenery that's around it, then you know you're really lucky there. Including myself that I played that game for a couple of hours and I eventually plan to make a video on that. But if you guys know these maps very well, you notice that there is Tennessee Route 165 and North Carolina Route 143. And yes, they do have that border and connection in Fatana Dam if you're one of the few people that played it. If we go over to Monroe, North Carolina, and I'm just using these examples to point out real life routes it indexes games, you see that in Monroe, North Carolina, there are real life routes all over it in which you can compare it to Ultimate Driving Monroe. You know, so yeah, you see like US 601, 74, Business 200, 207 and all that. They exactly reflect to how it is in Ultimate Driving Monroe. If you go to Keratic, North Carolina, you'll see that it reflects on the real life routes as well. The only game that is fixed to know in terms of route numbers and all that is in Kent Island, Maryland, what Index made. Since he thought the development process of Kent Island was boring and tedious. If you are an OG fan that remembers in one of my videos, or if not, you know, I'm just gonna bring that out. That, that's what I saw a couple years ago, and yeah, I may know that in Curdic with the playable version that everyone knows, the routes may not be realistic, but if you guys are familiar with Curdic 2.0, the beta release, the overhaul that Index is working on, then yes, you see real life routes like North Carolina Route 168, and there's Route 158 somewhere. If I can find it over here, and there it is. Yeah, he uses US 158. So, yeah, you see very familiar routes in what you see in Index's Ultimate Driving games. Index is the only developer in Ultimate Driving who uses real life routes to reflect on the real life experience. But Marcus and 22 Pilots, they make their games based on real life locations but with fictional route numbers. And if I go back to Fortana Dam, you notice that there are more real life routes that you find very familiar in the Fortana Dam map. So that just goes to show you there is a distinctive difference between Index's development and Marcus's development with the route numbers and even along with 22 Pilots. Both 22 Pilots and Marcus use fictional route numbers in their games, but each one of them is putting it in their own unique experience. When Marcus refers to south of the border, he does not mean the northern border of Georgia with North Carolina and Tennessee like I stated in episode 72 of Ultimate Driving Weeks. No, that's not how it is. When he uses south of the border, he means that him and Index's games, stating that Marcus's games is in the southern region of the United States in the area that goes by Index's games, but it's like not really. Is this being in the same region with south of the border? So he's basically putting an imaginary border across the country to distinct Index's and Marcus's games from 22 Pilots' games up in Delaware. You never know if the games could still border each other with Jonesboro, Fatana Dam, and maybe Fort Loudon, but I think now it's unlikely to happen. 
especially if all the route numbers in Jonesboro are fixed or no, and being that Jonesboro is located south of Atlanta in real life. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what Fort Loudon is. So if you're one of the very few people who know, Fort Loudon is a small map made by Index in which he used development of it when he was bored from developing Kent Island at the time. And Fort Loudon is a map that borders Fatana Dam into Index's games. It basically covers a small portion of Tennessee that is around there. But you know, I'll definitely be sure to make a video on it. It's basically an old game in which Index released two years ago to have it playable. And although Fort Tana Dam and Fort Loudon border each other, this is not the case for Jonesboro. But yeah, I just want to bring that out there for those of you who didn't know what Fort Loudon is, and I believe that's most of you who are watching this video. In essence, I should have asked Marcus through a direct message before putting the information out there. I mean, you know that everyone makes mistakes, even YouTubers, but I just wanted to get this correction video out there so that I don't mislead you guys. And that would be the last thing I would ever want to do in my YouTube career as a whole. I want to make sure that the information that is put on there is 100% accurate. And with that said, I also want people to have a true understanding of what is going on behind the scenes and the ultimate drawing development going on there. And I think it's nice if all of us have discussion about this and just, you know, talk about our comments and stuff. Like the good old days and you know, I just want to make sure everything in my video is accurate too so that you know what we're discussing about here rather than just assuming something that's going to be in development or bordering another map instead of what it actually is. I'm sorry if I confused you guys earlier in the last UD Leaks episode. I never intended this error to happen, but it is what it is, and the information that is out there now has been corrected in this video to make it more accurate on the information for what Marcus means by south of the border. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video right there. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button. And since it will help get my video across the YouTube algorithm, join my Discord server located in the description. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications as I like to upload ultimate driving content. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. With the